Shaking the Mile. The lights are out there from 4.30, and you were from the start. You wanted to make sure you got out there. Just kind of walk us through what was your race strategy for today? Yeah, I really just wanted to go, um, you know, kind of how I always start, like a little bit faster, um, and then really try to stay on that pace um, for the second 400. And then I knew it was going to hurt, you know, after 800, because any anytime it's 800 at mile pace, it's going to hurt. Um, but. Yeah, I just wanted to try and stick on those lights, and I knew I needed to push there. Um, and I also saw Charlotte, she was pretty close, so I was like, I gotta go. Um, but yeah, and then I really just tried to close the last 400. I think once the lights got away from me, um, it kind of mentally it was a little challenging to get back on. Um, but I just tried to forget about them once they were a good amount ahead. How do you feel where your fitness level is at right now? I think that. <laughs> I didn't really show um, how fit I am just because um, I've been, you know, my training paces have been a lot faster than that. Um, number one, number two, last, I guess like two, or early in February I ran two seconds faster. So, um, yeah, I think today probably also like beforehand I was really nervous too. Um, and this is like the first time I've like really gotten that nervous. So, um, yeah, I think that was, I was dealing with that a little bit. Um, but once I got on the line, I was calm. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, you always think that you could have done better, but um, I don't think that shows where I'm at right now. What about this race made you so nervous? Yeah, honestly, um, we're going, uh, so basically, like, my training plan since December has tried to peak us for March. Um, and just because I wanted to hit a couple fast races so like this, and then, um, yeah, um, sound. So, it was, it's definitely, it's it kind of, for me, it was kind of like, this is one of two chances to, you know, go under that barrier, that 430 barrier. So, yeah, I think that's what kind of made me nervous. But just the fact that there's so little chances, you know, kind of. But. You knew today was going to have to be a very aggressive ambitious effort on your part. Like, obviously, Charlotte's amazing. Uh -huh. So are, you know, like, much other people. But you knew if that was going to have another person that was going to be able to do it. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I feel like, um, you know, like I, I ran my PR in the 1500 with uh, in a pro heat, and it was like honestly felt like the smoothest race I've ever run. Um, yeah, just because I was, I immediately went to the back and then just picked people off. Um, so I'm glad that people will be able to take it out and I'll be able to, you know, kind of race strategically, but also it'll be fast regardless. So. You know, us being Californians, we go to Arcadia, we see everybody on the, the windscreens, right? All the photos of all the Danny Charles with one of the windows to go. And then we come to Austin, Massachusetts, you know, you're at New Dallas NI Lobby, and we see you inside this facility, right? Right. How do you process all that? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I think, obviously, this facility is incredible. Oh, just the New Balance people in general always put on a good meet, and um, yeah, they've been super nice to me and my family and generous, and so I'm just, I'm proud to be representing here in Boston, um, just because of what they, kind of what their, um, you know, program is like, yeah, I just, I'm happy to be a part of it. Now with that, you have this race underneath your belt, and I know you're trying to really big things for outdoors, what are some of those things that you're looking to do? Yeah, um, well I do, I have... Um, some national records in my um, but yeah, we'll see. I definitely, I'm trying to not focus a whole lot on the outcome um, of races. I just really want to like, uh, I guess, get more savvy with my racing and um, yeah, just enjoy the experience because yeah, training's been a lot of fun recently. So um, kind of like just getting that racing, like that fun racing aspect. Um, that, whereas. I mean, more more fun than nervous. I would like for it to be like that in the future. So, yeah, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you also were really committed to NC State. Congratulations there. You're all smiles. Just talk to us about how that experience has been for you. What kind of made you decide to join the Wolfpack? Yeah, it was really hard. I I was like stressing, um, but I think you know once I like really look deeper. Um, I was thinking about NC State when I was visiting all the other schools that I visited, and 
Um, what really stuck with me about the program is the culture, number one, it's just incredible. Um, the girls are like best friends. I, I went on my run um, there, it was like, are we just like hanging out? Like, we're not even running, we're just like hanging out right now and we were on our long run, it felt like it went by like this. So I think like I just want to have a college experience like that. And me and Hennis really just hit it off. Uh, hit it off. Um, and so, yeah, and it's also something that like kind of drew me to her was just the fact that like I was thinking about myself in like big races like NCAAs, and I was thinking, what what am I going to be the most? Where am I going to be the most calm and most confident? And I think Hennis kind of radiates that calm energy and just like grounds her girls. So yeah, I'm very I'm very excited to be a part of um, the Wolfpack. I think. We already are represented here, so yeah. we're back. But. Yeah, and I, I love Jesse. We went on our visit together, and we just both loved it. And she obviously knew quicker than I did, um, but I feel like I knew when I was on there, on campus the first time. Um, I went the second time, and that's when I was like, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to have those those girls already committed. It is. It's, yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, and I just like. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, I, I didn't have any bad visits, like, they were all awesome, um, but, like I said, that, to me, it was just, like, that's where I felt like I fit and where I would be most happy, because um, all these programs are just, like, you know, I went to Stanford, Oregon, Virginia, it's, like, you can't go wrong in any of those schools, um, so, yeah, I think I just really felt something there that pulled me there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Sadie, congratulations, <laughs> and we wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs>